biggest pitch of the year here for the Mariners. Three and two, bases loaded. Cishek, the pitch. Base hit left field. Here comes JP. Mariners scores. JP scores. The Seattle Mariners entered the last day of the 2021 season with 90 wins and a chance at making the playoffs for the first time in nearly 20 years. Though victories by the Red Sox and Yankees and a 7-3 loss to the Angels ended their season for good in Game 162, the 2021 campaign was undeniably one of the best in franchise history. As we look toward the 2022 season, the Mariners are expected to contend. To paraphrase Mitch Haniger, the 20-year playoff drought is officially on notice. With the team having already added infielder Adam Frazier and reigning AL Cy Young Award winner Robbie Ray, the Mariners are sure to be even better next season, right? Not exactly. The team's minus 51 run differential in 2021 suggests the 90 wins were little more than a mirage, and the Mariners aren't all that close to contending for a wildcard spot or a division title. If the Mariners want to stay in the hunt next year, they have some work to do. They have been linked to free agents Trevor Story and Chris Bryant and trading block arms like Cincinnati's Sonny Gray and Luis Castillo or any of the mid-rotation arms from the Oakland days. However, getting better next year won't just be about external additions. Here are five ways the Mariners could keep themselves in the playoff conversation without making any more moves this season. Kyle Lewis, opening day debut. Oh boy, that boss tank, that's gone, see you later. Starting off with number five, a healthy Kyle Lewis. The former American League Rookie of the Year was a sensation during his first full month in the big leagues in August of 2020. He basically did it all on a bad Mariners team that finished the shortened season at 27 and 33. Lewis suffered a bone bruise in spring training before the start of 2021. His offense lagged as he returned to action in April, and a torn meniscus sent him to the operating table right as he was heating up at the end of May. He didn't see the field again for the rest of the season, and his status for 2022 is very much up in the air. Mariners GM Jerry Depoto made it clear after the season that they don't even have firm expectations at this point for what Lewis can provide next season. However, if the center fielder can get healthy at any point in 2022, he could deliver solid defense at a position of need and explosive offense to a lineup that often went cold last year. Lewis's ability to meld speed, power, and patience at the plate could move the team's ceiling and raise its floor enough to push them right into the playoff race. With the 20th selection of the 2019 MLB draft, the Seattle Mariners select George Kirby. Number four, right minor league contributors. Cited at mid-season by Baseball America as the best minor league system in Major League Baseball, the Mariners have an impressive collection of talent knocking on the door to the big leagues. Pitchers Matt Brash, George Kirby, and Brandon Williamson seem likely to make their debuts at some point during the 2022 season. Any of those three could make an impact in the rotation or in the bullpen and provide much needed depth to a team that struggled to consistently feel the full rotation during last season's playoff push. In the batter's box, market improvement by Taylor Trammell coming into a new season would be a boon for the M's. A natural center fielder, Trammell provides solid defense and showed flashes of MLB caliber power in his stints with the big league team last year. Equipped with unquestioned athleticism, showing the ability to hit Major League Pitching is required for Trammell to take his next steps in his development. There you go! There it is! There you go! Game over! There you go! Number 3. Fun Differential Mariners manager Scott Service made headlines last year when asked a question about the team's negative run differential. He didn't have any comment on that, but he did say that the Mariners had a fun differential of plus 90. Jokes aside, one way the Mariners could improve in 2022 is by showing that last year's run differential didn't tell the whole story. Many have made arguments about the Mariners' lack of Pythagorean success, including the strength of the team's bullpen and their mastery of timely hitting with runners in scoring position. However, I think the only real argument to be made is that the team was frankly just better by the end of the season. Jared Kelnick found his swing, Marco Gonzalez rebounded from a tough early start, and Abraham Toro filled what had previously been a massive black hole with moderate offense at second base. Logan Gilbert, Ty France, Mitch Haniger, Luis Torrens, and J.P. Crawford all played some of their best baseball of the season in the last two months. Their efforts helped the team to a 34-23 and record in August, September, and October, and a positive run differential of plus four. If that version of the Mariners shows up this April, they have a chance to pull off the most vaunted double play in the sport, having a positive run and fun differential at the same time. 
Cam Gallagher setting his glove right down the middle of the plate. Rodriguez hammers it deep to center field. That's a way back. Number and two, a big debut for Julio Rodriguez. I didn't mention Julio Rodriguez in the previous section on minor league contributors. That may have seemed like an oversight, but Julio is on a whole other level. While George Kirby, Matt Brash, Brandon Williamson, and Taylor Trammell could potentially provide some small but helpful impacts on the 2022 team, Rodriguez has the chance to really break through in his first taste of the majors. Rodriguez is a super prospect. He currently ranks second on MLB Pipeline's top 100 prospect list and is nearly a sure thing to make his debut with the Mariners at some point in the first half of 2022. He possesses impressive power and is a skilled hitter. He steals bases and his arm makes him a perfect fit for right field. All he has done during his time in the Mariners minor league system and at the Olympics last summer is hit. Many think he's ready to make a big impact right away. Fangraph's steamer projections tags Rodriguez with a projected WRC plus of 117, and Zips thinks he will lead the 2022 Mariners by posting 3.3 wins above replacement in his rookie season. Those kind of numbers put the 21-year-old in the company of some of the best young hitters currently playing. If he produces like the computers think he will in 2022, Rodriguez would supercharge an offense in serious need of a spark. Pitch number eight to Toro. He drills this! Drills! Finally, number one, internal improvement. The Mariners were young in 2021. Though they relied heavily on veterans like Kyle Seeger, Mitch Hanniger, and Marco Gonzalez, much of the roster was either just hitting their prime or fresh faces still getting comfortable in a major league role. Two players coming off their rookie seasons and a third who arrived at the trade deadline could raise the ceiling considerably for the 2022 squad. The first one won't be a surprise. Jared Kelnick disappointed in a big way during his rookie season last year. His batting average flirted with sub-100 levels at times, and he finished in the bottom five of wins above replacement for players who played at least as much as he did. It was about as bad a debut as you could expect from a prospect of his pedigree. Kelnick seems like a good candidate to rebound this year. His September production hints at big things for the powerful outfielder, and even turning his bat from a negative into a positive would give the Mariners some life at a position that was dead on arrival for most of last season. Logan Gilbert was called up from AAA at the same time as Kelnick. He was the lower-ranked prospect of the two. But during his time with the big league club, he showed why he is likely to be an anchor for the starting rotation for years to come. Relying almost exclusively on his dynamic fastball most of the season, Gilbert was a stabilizing presence. If the 24-year-old can lean more heavily on his secondary pitches in 2022, he should be able to solidify his status as a mid-rotation armor better and make every fifth day one to look forward to for Mariners fans. The acquisition of Abraham Toro was controversial, to say the least. A utility infielder during his time with the Houston Astros, Toro became the Mariners' everyday second baseman in late July. He exploded at the plate during his first couple weeks in Mariner Blue before fading into below average production down the stretch. Toro, still only 25, put up big numbers in the Astros minor league system before struggling to hit consistently in the majors the last three years. Though a big breakout for the infielder is no guarantee, solid production and positional flexibility could make Toro a key piece of the Mariners' 2022 campaign. There you go. He has it for a second, then he hits the ground. Bases loaded, two outs. Hey, wow. Dick, this is all! In this video, we've looked at how the Mariners could get better with players already in the organization. There is clearly opportunity for growth already in Seattle, and a chance to surge back toward 90 wins if things go just right. The way they can really take a step forward, though, is to be aggressive when the lockout ends. The Mariners have plenty of payroll flexibility and a deep farm system they can use to make impactful trades. Signing a big bat or two and adding to the rotation are the best ways to get the team over the hump for next season. A trio of Chris Bryant, Sonny Gray, and Seiya Suzuki, for example, could make breakouts of Julio Rodriguez, Jared Kelnick, or anyone else even more impactful. When Ken Griffey Jr. was patrolling center field and Edgar Martinez was spraying doubles into the gaps, the Mariners were the top dogs in Seattle sports. Fans would regularly rock the kingdom and later Safeco Field and hang on every win. It's been 20 years since the last playoff-bound Mariners team went down swinging in the ALCS. 
Let's hope the Mariners' ownership and front office is ready to do what it takes to ensure a new era dawns in 2022 and Seattle can become a baseball town once again.